What's going on guys? So in front of me, you are looking at probably the number one requested comparison video I've had since I've started my channel. You were looking at three very similarly priced mats that are designed to fit the contour of your vehicle. So hang tight, I think you're gonna enjoy this video. All right, so in front of me, I have floor mats from WeatherTech, Ares, and Husky. They are all very similar in function, but very different in design. And I think that there is a fit for all three of them for most applications. What I really like about all three of them is that they're designed to enhance kind of the interior appeal of your vehicle versus the factory floor mats. What I like about the WeatherTech is that it by far has the best approach to fitting the interior form of your vehicle as specifically as possible. They have done a phenomenal job of molding them to really accent the lines and the curves of your vehicle. What I like about the Aries is that they look great. They have a very nice look to them. If you look closer, you can see they're the only ones that have this really nice textured look. And I'll talk more about that in a second. And what I like about the Husky is that they are just a very, very durable, rugged, commercial type mat. And it also fits the interior lines very well. Now, where these differ really comes down to what they're designed out of, how they're manufactured, and what the materials feel like and what they're designed to do. The Husky is a very pliable rubber. Feels very much like a, like a rubber material more of a softer rubber, whereas the Aries is this rubber coated polyethylene. So it uses this foam material and then the back side of it is this abrasive, almost feels like Velcro on the back, which is designed to help prevent it from moving around. But the Aries definitely has a more rigid feel to it. It almost feels as if it's a, a cardboard material, even though it's not, it just has more of a rigid feel. The WeatherTechs have a harder rubber, kind of a, a semi-rubber plastic feel to them. They are still pliable, you can still bend them, but they definitely have a harder, a little bit slicker surface to them. I like all three of them in different ways. I like how the WeatherTech fits the truck. I like the overall form when it is installed inside of a vehicle. I like the Aries from an overall looks perspective. I think it's the best looking mat of the three and it still fits well, just not quite as well as the WeatherTech. I like the Husky because it just protects a lot and you can tell right off the bat that this is going to be a mat that you'd want to use if you don't want to slip around, if you are more concerned about just the industrial aspect of using a floor mat inside of your vehicle to protect it. All three do an incredible job protecting the floor of your vehicle, they just kind of do it in a different way. The Husky uses kind of those little nubs that you're used to seeing on floor mats as well as little holes here that anchor into the factory anchoring points. Ares uses a similar system right here for your factory anchoring points, but then it uses that Velcro material to keep it from moving. And WeatherTech uses just these two little locking pieces here. The back of it is completely smooth aside from that. So if you don't have it locked in, it will move around. So you want to be very careful. And they actually give you a warning sticker with it that says, be sure to make sure it's locked in place. Now I've been using the Husky liners for several years in various vehicles and I really like them. What I don't like about them is that they tend to look kind of dingy after a relatively short period of time and they are the hardest of the three to clean, especially when it comes to dirt, when it comes to water, anything that could stain it. It likes to get into the little grooves right here at the end and it is very difficult to clean unless you go at it with a lot of soap and a scrub brush and then you have to wait for it to dry to see if you've really cleaned it. The Aries, I'm not 100% sure on yet because the material isn't smooth. It's not one of those materials that you can say is going to be super easy to clean because it's going to react differently to different types of materials, whether it's water, whether it's rocks, whether it's mud or sand, simply because it can get into these grooves, right? And I don't know how easy it's going to be to get something like sand or dirt out of these, but we're going to test them out and we're going to see. The WeatherTechs, on the other hand, these are by far the easiest to clean, hands down, mainly because you really don't have a lot of areas for dirt to get trapped and not be able to get to with a brush like you do on these. Now, the three of these are different in one major way, and that is the amount of traction that you get on the mat when you're using it. 
Husky, number one by far. You're not really going to slip or slide around on these mats. They work really well to keep you really stuck to the mat when you need to be stuck to the mat. You get a lot of traction. Aries works very, very well when they're dry, but what I've noticed is when they get a little wet, they tend to be a bit slippery. WeatherTech, they can be very slippery if they're wet, so that's the thing you want to keep in mind. They have a great reservoir here to hold any type of water and to trap that, but as you can see, there's not a ton of traction material on this specific mat. So they do work well, but Huskies definitely have the most traction, followed by the Aries, followed by the WeatherTech. Now in terms of cosmetic appeal, which ones I think look better, I honestly think the Aries look the best. That textured material, the overall look of the design on it, these look really good in a vehicle. Followed by the WeatherTech and then the Husky. The Husky, in my opinion, is kind of an ugly mat, even though it functions very well. So you're definitely taking function over form with Husky, but the Aries just looks fantastic. It is a great looking mat inside of the vehicle. And the WeatherTechs are a close second because they also look really good, especially how they follow the contour of the vehicle. Now here's something interesting. I personally think that these mats may look better or worse in certain vehicles. I think the Aries matches the interior profile and design of the new 2019 Ram very well. I think this is just kind of that glove fit relationship if you were going to install this inside of a new Ram. The WeatherTech I think would look good in a GM or a Ford vehicle. The lines kind of follow that flow of General Motors and Ford and I think it would look really good. And the Husky would really be a functional mat for any of them depending on what you're going to be using it for. I think for most people either the WeatherTech or the Aries is going to be the more cosmetically appealing mat and still provide them the protection that they're going to need. If you really work your truck hard and you really want a mat with a lot of grip, a lot of useful texturing and the ability just to capture all of that dirt and debris that might get knocked off of your shoes, I think the Husky is probably the number one there. Now in terms of where they're manufactured, both the Husky and the WeatherTech are made here in America. The Aries is imported and all three of them do have a warranty. So the WeatherTech is a lifetime warranty. The Husky is also a lifetime warranty and the Aries is going to be a three-year warranty. One of the interesting things Husky does is they actually put guaranteed for life on the little badge down here, whereas WeatherTech actually gives you their phone number on the badge here and says made in America. The Aries, you don't get a lot of packaging material telling you much about the manufacturing process of this mat, but most of the advertising on this mat is related to kind of that rubberized three coating type system they use where the top is more of a rubber coating with a polyethylene foam in the middle and then that gripping material on the bottom. Now in terms of which one I like the best, I've been using Husky because it provides the most grip and traction. That's the reason why I've been using it. I haven't been using it because I think it looks the best. If I were going purely off the of looks, I think the Aries looks the best. And again, the WeatherTech follows it up in the Husky's third. But in my opinion, what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to try them all. And I'm going to subject them to different conditions. And I'm going to record that process so you can kind of see what these look like after they've had sand, mud, rock, debris, things like that impact them and how hard they are to clean, how hard they are to maintain, and hopefully we'll get a better picture of how these mats perform on an everyday usage. So I've had these out of my vehicle for about a week now. I've had the Aries installed and I'm going to be running them for a little bit longer. Then I'm going to switch to the WeatherTech. And I'm going to try them in a wet environment, a sandy environment, a muddy environment, and a rocky environment. And then we're going to clean them up and see how difficult they are to clean. And I will put a link in the description of this video if you've already made up your mind on the specific mats that you want. But if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up so we can follow along and see which mat performs the best.